On this day 40 years ago, an Air France plane with 248 passengers was hijacked by two members of the Popular Front from the liberation of Palestine. External operations under orders of Wadi Haddad and two members of the German revolutionary cells. The hijackers had had the stated objective to free 40 Palestinian and affiliated militants imprisoned in Israel and 13 prisoners in four other countries in exchange for the hostages. The flight, which had originated in Tel Aviv with the destination of Paris, was diverted after a stopover in Athens via Benghazi to Entebbe. The then president, General Id Amin, supported the hijackers and personally welcomed them. After moving all hostages from the aircraft to a disused airport building, the hijackers separated all Israels and several non-Israeli Jews from the larger group and forced them into a separate room. Over the following two days, 148 non-Israeli hostages were released and flown out to Paris, some 94 mainly Israeli passengers, along with a 12-member Air France crew, remained as hostages and were threatened with death. The IDF acted on information provided by the Israeli intelligence agency Mossad. The hijackers threatened to kill the hostages if their prisoner release demands were not met. This threat led to the planning of the rescue operation. This plan included preparation for armed resistance from Ugandan military troops.